Hello and welcome everybody and thank you guys for joining me to another video. My name is Wilkie and we're gonna go for Araxiam or Araxiam hard mode. We currently have the Shattering Impact and the Tactical Combo perks or I guess modifications if you will. Um, yeah, let's just go for it really. We're still running the same build that I was running in the Memento builds with a slight deviation. I am using a shotgun which i will show later on there's two reasons for that first of all i do want to try this build or this is something that i was looking for to meddle with anyway and uh, secondly the fight can be a bit annoying without it so i don't think there's any real explanation in regards to the spooter itself now, this is one of the bosses which I don't think are ideal for the Memento because hitting the weak spots can be a bit tedious at times, especially the one on the... God, I got clapped. Especially the one on the chest is fairly, I would say, inconsistent to hit without the butterfly, so I'm typically just gonna go for the... There we go, we clapped it. I'm just gonna go for the one on the sides. Now, I personally tend to ignore these little shadow, um, I don't actually know what the name of these is. Uh, I think they're called golems or something. Now we do need to pop a heal. This is absolutely not ideal what we're currently doing. Hello, thank you. Okay, she's immune, that's good. So the reason I'm using a shotgun is because with bullseye you have a perk that when you clap targets you get stamina and HP recovery now this is the egg phase as long as you're standing inside this little I guess safe zone you can see that there's a circle around here you actually do not take damage from the gas and I can heal myself by killing these spiders these little spider links with my shotgun now this is not going to last forever, this zone, and at least for me, I have not found a way to so quickly decimate all these eggs to get rid of all of this, but we have our trusty friend, Festering Gel, which we're going to be just using. There's another spider egg. I typically just tend to hold them for a few seconds. And there we go, that should be good enough. There's one more egg. You can always just pop a couple of spiders here. We can see that this heal is actually pretty pretty handy for this toxic poison thingy. Now obviously snipers or anything would be a better choice. I think we're good. Alright. Throw an explosive. Debuff and oh my god, I need to reload. We didn't instantly get into the second phase, but we're probably going to reach that phase. There we go. This is where the build obviously shines again. So, yeah. It's not the ideal boss for this build. Like, this is one of the bosses where just having shrapnel bounce, whatever, is going to make your life a ton easier. Absolutely. But I still think this is very much doable. Alright, second egg phase. God, I swear to God, this is for me the most annoying boss because while it's not necessarily a very hard mechanic, I think it's a very annoying mechanic. So, I'm just not a huge fan of it. Just gonna run for it. Move out a little bit. There's one egg, two eggs. Another egg. I have no idea what just hit me. Shoot! That was close. That was a very close ball. I think there's two more eggs that I'm missing. Oh, three actually. If we are fast enough. I'm not sure why those hits were not missing. Now we're good. 
Reload. Molly. There we go. You can see that even if you land those good shots, that once you pass a certain threshold, she just instantly gets up. And that is it. Arexiam, Arexiam, Spooder, whatever you want to call this hard mode. If you do know that you can cheese the HP thingy, I think this is very much doable. We're not going to collect this. I'm going to collect this after the video's ending. Just want to show the rewards. We're going to pop a controller, obviously. What do we got? Shooting Blades, Huntersburg, Recovers Mark, and Alas Valor. Anyways, thank you all for being here. As I said, I will be explaining... ...with you all. So what I'm using is the shotgun itself. Uh, it's not necessarily, don't necessarily need the Doombringer. Um, I'm just using it because I want to use it. Uh, you can technically also use the old Huntsman. Though this one has a vastly better bullseye triggering chance. And the secret sauce for the heals is the mod, which is called Recover Mark. When defeating marked enemies, recover 15% HP and 25% stamina. So this is really, really helpful in my opinion. Obviously you can use Festering Gel, you can use other recovery methods. If you time your uh, activators properly, you can do it as well. So, multiple ways to do this. This is just the way I'm doing it. So, anyways, thank you all for being here. Hope this was helpful for some of you guys, and I'll see you guys next time.